Hello friends! Recently NASA made the images captured by the James Webb Telescope publicly available. These images are truly mesmerizing and unprecedented. They offer us fascinating insights into the universe. One of these images provides us with the oldest view of the universe we have ever seen. It allows us to look back 13.1 billion years into the past. Another image reveals an alien exoplanet where water or H2O has been detected. Let's dive into these new discoveries in today's video. This telescope cost around $10 billion to build. NASA spent 25 years designing and developing it. Interestingly, the location where this telescope operates is at a temperature of minus 266.75 degrees Celsius. It is so cold that it is almost at the absolute zero temperature of minus 273 degrees Celsius. This is the lowest temperature theoretically possible. The telescope is only a few degrees warmer than this absolute zero temperature. To maintain this temperature, the James Webb Space Telescope does not orbit Earth like the Hubble Space Telescope. Instead, it orbits the Sun. Approximately 1.5 million kilometers from Earth is a point known as the L2 point. Here the telescope remains in Earth's shadow, allowing it to safely orbit the Sun. A sun shield attached to the telescope blocks out the rest of the sunlight. This sun shield is nearly as large as a tennis court. The focal length of the James Webb Space Telescope is more than 2,500 times greater than that of a typical DSLR camera lens. It measures 131.4 meters in length. The main mirror of the telescope weighs around 705 kilograms. Let's focus on the photos taken by this telescope. First, let me remind you about the electromagnetic spectrum. Different electromagnetic waves have different wavelengths. There is a small portion of this spectrum that consists of visible light, the light that we can see with our naked eyes. This includes the colors of the rainbow, violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. This range of wavelengths is from 0.38 to 0.7 micrometers. Wavelengths longer than red are classified as infrared. The James Webb Space Telescope operates in the infrared range with wavelengths from 0.6 to 28 micrometers. There is a small overlap with visible light, but primarily the telescope works in the infrared spectrum. The telescope is equipped with two infrared cameras. The near-infrared camera, or NIRCOM, captures shorter infrared wavelengths. The mid-infrared instrument, or MIRI cam, captures longer infrared wavelengths. Depending on the camera used, the photos taken by the telescope can vary. Take a look at this photo captured by the NIRCOM. It is truly breathtaking and went viral on social media when NASA released it. However, the same scene captured by the MIRI cam appears different. The dust clouds visible in the NIRCOM photo are not as apparent in the MIRI cam image because MIRI cam captures longer wavelengths that can pass through these clouds more effectively. You might be wondering what we are seeing in these images. The answer is the death of a star. Yes, we are witnessing a star's demise. The photo shows two stars orbiting each other. The brighter star is in the early stages of its life, while the dimmer star is nearing its end. Over thousands of years, this dying star has been releasing clouds of gases and dust. This cloud of gas and dust is known as a planetary nebula. The two stars orbiting each other cause the cloud to swirl around, similar to how sugar mixes into water. The gravitational pull of the stars influences the shape of the cloud. In the NIRCOM photo, you can see only one star and the cloud clearly. In the MIRI cam photo, the cloud appears more subdued, but the two stars are more visible. The longer wavelength of the MIRI cam allows us to see through the dense cloud. If this is your first time learning about the death of stars, it might be surprising. Much like humans have a life cycle from childhood to old age and then death, stars also have a life cycle. Our sun is a star and is currently quite young. In about 5 billion years, our sun will become a red giant. It will go through similar stages to those seen in the photo, eventually becoming a planetary nebula before ending as a white dwarf. Red giants are larger than average stars, and when our sun becomes a red giant, it will engulf the planets Venus and Mercury. Earth will no longer be habitable. However, 
Humans have 5 billion years to develop technology that might allow us to move Earth's orbit. But that's a discussion for another time. Let's move on to the rest of the photos. The first photo released by NASA is perhaps the most historic. It provides a glimpse of the universe from 13 billion years ago. After seeing this image, American President Joe Biden remarked that it is a new window into the history of the universe. This photo reveals a galaxy cluster known as SMEX 0723. The galaxies closer to us have such strong gravitational forces that they distort the light coming from objects behind them. This creates a magnifying effect known as gravitational lensing. It allows us to see objects behind the cluster. Capturing this photo was not a simple task. Unlike taking a quick snapshot with a camera, it took 12.5 hours to capture this image. The telescope had to take multiple images at different wavelengths and then combine them to produce the final photo. In the image, galaxies that appear redder are farther away from us. The redder the galaxy, the further it is. Now, let's look at the next photo, known as Stefan's Quintet. This is a cluster of five galaxies. The prefix quin refers to the number five, like quad refers to four. However, this quintet is more of a quadtet. The leftmost galaxy is 40 million light years away, while the other four are about 290 million light years away. The photo shows that the leftmost galaxy appears more detailed when zoomed in, while the other four appear blurred. These galaxies are so close to each other that their dust and stars interact, affecting their gravitational forces. Scientists are interested in understanding what happens when galaxies come so close together. Next is the most beautiful photo to date, showcasing the birth of a star. After seeing a star's death, we can now witness its birth. The mountain range-like structures in this photo are called cosmic cliffs by scientists. This image captures a nebula, a bright area formed by clouds of dust and gas. This specific nebula is named the Carina Nebula. During the life cycle of a star, it is born in a stellar nebula. The photo shows the formation of stars, with red dots representing growing infant stars. This image is visible in both the Nearcom and Miri Cam photos. Finally, let's discuss the most intriguing image, which is not a photo but spectrographic data of the planet WASP-96b. This exoplanet is 1,150 light years away from us. An exoplanet is a planet outside our solar system. In addition to the two cameras, the James Webb Telescope is equipped with a near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph, or NIRIS. A spectrograph measures the intensity of different wavelengths of light. NIRIS measured the light from WASP-96b for 6.5 hours, resulting in a light curve. This data indicates the presence of water, H2O, on the planet. Additionally, there is some haze in clouds. You might wonder how we can determine the presence of water on a planet by measuring light without a photo. The answer lies in the unique wavelengths of light. For example, leaves appear green because chlorophyll absorbs red and blue wavelengths but reflects green. Similarly, water absorbs red, yellow, and orange wavelengths, making it appear blue. By passing light through a leaf and analyzing the pattern of absorbed wavelengths, we can identify the presence of chlorophyll. A similar analysis of the light from WASP-96b revealed a pattern indicating the presence of water. If you are excited about the possibility of life due to the presence of water, be cautious. WASP-96b is not a habitable planet. Its proximity to its star and its size suggest that the planet's temperature exceeds 530 degrees Celsius, making it unlikely to support life. However, over the next few months, the James Webb Space Telescope will analyze other planets, including potentially habitable ones within our Milky Way galaxy. There are about 300 million potential habitable planets, but so far, we have observed only about 5,000 exoplanets, including potentially habitable ones. In November 2018, researchers identified one planet among the observed exoplanets with the highest potential for habitability. This planet, named TRAPPIST-1e, resembles Earth the most. It is about 40 light years away, which is relatively close compared to other exoplanets. TRAPPIST-1 orbits an ultra-cool dwarf star named TRAPPIST-1, which is cooler than our Sun. 
The planet is within the habitable zone, and its size is similar to Earth's. Its radius is 91% of Earth's radius, its mass is 77% of Earth's mass, and its gravity is 93% of Earth's gravity. It also has a solid surface where liquid water could exist without freezing. The James Webb Space Telescope will continue to analyze TRAPPIST-1 to check for gases like carbon dioxide, methane, and water vapor. If certain combinations of these gases are detected, it could suggest the presence of life. Let's look forward to future discoveries made by this telescope. Scientists believe that for a planet to support life, it must have liquid water, a solid surface, and an atmosphere with a specific combination of gases. I hope this video was informative. If you enjoyed it, check out the other video for more details. See you in the next video. Thank you very much.